What's up everybody? Welcome to another video tutorial. I'm Joshua Casper and today it's all about BPM. Got a couple emails um, asked about some questions about BPM and you know I figured why not just show you as much as I know or can remember to show you. So anyway, um, first things first, this is your global BPM up here. It's at 120 when you first open the project. So as soon as you take a clip and drop it in there like this bird break right here, if I drop it in here Notice that the bird break is at a 90 BPM, and you can see the segment BPM is 90, and the global BPM will change to that. And of course, you run this here, and this clip is playing at 90, but you can change, you know, this to 120 again, and it will play at 120. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back down to 90. Double click on it if you haven't already and notice the segment BPM right here. This is the BPM, the original BPM of the segment or loop or track or whatever you're playing. A cool thing to do is hit this button, this times two right here and it will slow this track down for you. And you can also hit it down to 45 and it will play it really fast. So we went from like a hip hop break to some drum and bass right there. I and mean, that's all we did was hit that one button. I'm going to go back to 90. And some cool things you can do is hit this up to 180 again. And you can switch it to tone. Play it. You can switch it to textures. You know to re-pitch it which will actually play at the pitch if you um, you know when you when you warp something inside of Ableton it kinda keeps the pitch for you pretty much and um, if you hit re-pitch it will play like you've pitched it up or pitched it down you know however much you have so now it's gonna it's actually the pitch of the track is gonna change as you change the BPM But anyway, I'm going to go back to beats. I'm going to change this back to this. I'm going to change it back down to 90 and bam. So now we're back to where we started. The next thing I want to do is take your loop, whatever you're using, control click it and duplicate it three times. And come over here to the row and control R to rename it and rename it 90 BPM see how this changes orange when you launch this row everything will change the global BPM will change to 90 and everything else if you launch it by itself will play at 90 rename this one 180 BPM hit return and notice that this has changed and rename this and we will do 45 BPM and now let's launch these from the row launch section. We're going at 90. Let's go bring it up to 180. 45. And now that we're at 45, if I, instead of launching from over here, I just launch a regular clip, it will play at 45 still. See? And if I want to go back down to 90, I have to launch it this clip, this row, I mean. So that's a cool thing for your live sets, um, a great way to do it. You can also come over here to your MIDI map and map your BPM control and your tap control to a MIDI controller, knob or fader or you know drum pad, whatever, however you want to do it. And that way, in your live set, you can you know make minor adjustments to the overall tempo of your entire you know live set, your entire project. Okay, now let's do some recording so I can show you the BPM on the other side. So, hit the record button, hit your 90 BPM row. To 180, back down to 90. Okay, so bam, this is what we're looking at. And if you come down here, you'll notice that 
it's already changed for you but you come into the master you expand it you hit mixer and then song tempo and this is your BPM controller for this up here okay so you can see visually that this is where it changes from 90 to 180 um, we can have that change go gradually over an amount of time watch this corner right here you can see it happening and then you can have it just drop down too and a way to do that and I checked this out on uh, Tom Cop one of Tom Cobb's video is you go ahead and set your marker right here you change this to whatever BPM you want hit record and play and that will give you an abrupt change instead of your gradual one because it's kind of tough to get this you know who wants to mess around and try to zoom in and get this right on this this bar marker this will just do it for you if you set your play cursor and then switch it up here and then record and play it will play it at the BPM you want it so I hope that's been helpful it's a bunch of stuff about BPMs and you know I know I only use the loop but I mean you can just apply that to songs and stuff and what I'll do in the next couple of uh, you know probably next week is I'll drop another sample live set for you guys because that other one's getting some good feedback and um, it will have some tempo changes in it so you can see a more constructive um, real world type thing going on but I hope this will hold you over for now as far as BPMs is concerned Remember, rate, subscribe, comment. Uh, let me know about what you want to know about, and I will try to put a video out. And check out my website, download all that free music and stuff. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.